My name is Jennifer Lytham. I'm the subject of the documentary I Stand Corrected. And it's all about my life and uh, my musical career and my transition. Spooky a little bit. It's like, it's like you've gone to heaven and you're looking down at your own funeral or something. <laughs> all these people say such wonderful things about you. And then, uh, and then like live, reliving all of these incredible experiences that I had. And so there's been really some momentous ones. And, and it, it's very joyful to me to see um, people that I love so much. And, and this was the first time the film has screened since Ed Shaughnessy passed away, the drummer in the Tonight Show. Yeah. And so it's my first time looking at him up on the screen and hearing him talk. And kind of emotional for me, you know. Um. It's a very good tool for people that aren't familiar with people that are trans to just see one individual, just one individual, because we're all so different, and all of our solutions and all of our stories are completely unique. And my story doesn't necessarily speak to everyone's experience being trans, but it just to get to per to humanize a trans person on screen without making the audience feel sorry for them, to, to present them as a as a whole person. A person that that's had challenges, of course. We don't gloss over the challenges, but but just that that um, transitioning can be a really happy experience, and it is. A, it's a joyous thing to actually realize who you are and be who you are. Um, is an amazing experience. I, I, I'm very thankful that I've gone through what I've gone through. Sometimes, you know, you wish you had grown up in a different era, you know, where maybe people were a little more understanding. Like kids that are growing up now, I think, have more opportunity and, and are accepted a little easier and can can actually speak about what they're feeling at a much earlier age than people that, that grew up in the era that I did. Um, Music was, as I say in the film, music saved my life. Music was the thing that kept me in, involved in something and completely immersed in something when I had all of these demons tugging at me. That I wasn't happy with, with how I was moving through life. I wasn't happy with how people were perceiving me. I didn't feel like I could express myself um, in any way. I was, and I, I, when I was much younger, I was pretty outgoing, and then uh, the more and more I realized that, that my gender wheels were working out, you know, that I was going in the direction I wanted, the more I became an introvert. And um, once I finally got a hold of music, it just gave me something to get my mind off of. And I think it was a good thing, actually. I think it made me a better musician that I was so happy to be alone in a room by myself. And I would practice for long, long, long hours, you know. And uh, I, I took all my energy and put it into my craft. And uh, I think that actually has informed my craft. It's made, it's made me a more valid musician to have had that experience. And had I not had the gender identity crisis that I had, I may not be the musician I am now. Just because of all of those hours and hours and hours that I practiced. And I learned to love to practice. I learned to love to be by myself in the room, making the sounds and, and, and understand, starting to grasp concepts and, and, and um, just uh, have a gradual acceleration of my abilities. I'm so thrilled I was able to come here to Toronto and be part of Inside Out. I'm thrilled. It, it's a, a wonderful festival. The facility here is as good as I've seen on the film festival circuit. The, the picture, the sound, it was just so great. And the people here are so sweet. I've always loved playing in Toronto. I, I have dear friends here, none of whom came to the screening, by the way. But, <laughs> But I did. I, there are a lot of great musicians in Toronto, especially jazz musicians. There's tons of them, here. and uh, over the years I've gotten to be friends with them. And so coming to Inside Out has been has been great in that my story is now out here in Toronto, and, and we'll see how it spreads out, and then hopefully it reaches the music community, and they they uh, they drop some of their barriers, you know.